Hey guys, I'm Hackintosh for Dummies here. I'm going to show you how to uh, build a computer. Um, I have to do a slideshow because I lost the video of me actually building a computer. Um, so anyway, let's just get right into it. Make sure you have your motherboard, video card, RAM, hard drive or hard drives, processor, cooler, um, your optical drive, and don't worry about the Snow Leopard iBoot and USB dongle. We'll get into that in another video. Um, you're going to need a number two Phillips screwdriver and maybe a small flashlight um, don't build a computer on carpet or with you know a, a fluffy wool sweater on holding a furry cat don't do it you don't want to create static electricity I'm doing mine in the kitchen with my sneakers on it worked for me it should work for you give it a shot first thing you're gonna to want to do is take this little lever here pull it up that's gonna open up this uh, this metal piece here which is going to allow you to pop your processor we have right here into place um, so once you have it popped up discard this little plastic piece that's covering up the processor also don't forget to read your manual kids very important stuff you learn lots of stuff which is what Hackintosh for Dummies is all about learning lots of stuff um, here's me with my sneakers on so when you're putting your processor in, there's two notches here on your processor, which will prevent you from putting it in wrong, which is something you definitely don't want to do. So once you have that into place and you're sure you have it in the correct notches, it should just slide right in. Um, I'm removing my thermal paste to use some aftermarket stuff. You can use aftermarket if you want. It doesn't quite, well, we're going to have another video about aftermarket thermal paste in another video. So there's my thermal paste smeared into place. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and close this lever down and then this lever kind of there's a little notch there that you squeeze this lever into. Um, you will need a significant amount of force to get this closed so don't think that you're doing something wrong because it's so hard to close. Next you want to pop your cooler on. There's just four push pins on the cooler that pop it right into place. Uh, next you can throw your RAM into place. We're going to use the first two slots even though your motherboard says to keep your RAM separated for um, better performance. That's not going to work with a Hackintosh. Um, plug your CPU cooler into this outlet here. I think it says CPU fan right on the top of it. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. There was two there. It didn't matter. Um, separate your screws to make things easier take note in your manual of where the screw holes are and then you want to take note of your case looking at your motherboard just make sure they're in the general you know same place before you go screwing your motherboard into place haul all your wires up along the top of your case to make your motherboard easier to slide in before you slide your motherboard in pop your IO shield in pop the, it's going to go in through the inside of the case and it go that's the wrong way to put it in there's the right way okay and then we're using these screws to hold the motherboard down there it is in place with the nine screws to hold it in um, there is the back shot of the IO shield and what's what's this oh there it is just in place okay uh, next we're gonna pop our hard drives in you're gonna need four screws I'm putting my solid state hard drive in here these holes on my my OCZ solid state hard drive are not threaded, so you pretty much just need to force the screws into place. Um, they will thread right in. It's only plastic. Um, don't worry about it. And there's my HDD, and then just slide those into place. Um, next, we're going to power up. This is the power for the motherboard. There's only one of these connectors on your power supply, so you can't really screw that up. So no worries there. Um, What's this now? Uh, what are we looking for? Okay. See these four? Um, there's, there's four SATA connectors down here. These two are stacked up on top of each other. We're not using the white ones. We'll talk about that in another video. And there's two more up here. They're all the same. These uh, black SATA data cables are, uh, came with your motherboard. They just You can pop these into any one you want, just so long as it's hooked to the hard drive and hooked to the motherboard. Any of these six blue connectors, it doesn't matter which one you use. As long as they're hooked up, your hard drive will be recognized. Next, we're going to connect the um, the stuff on the front of your 
computer case to the motherboard. So you get these little uh, these little suckers here that came with your uh, motherboard, and they're going to connect right down in here. So these three blue ones are USB, and this white one here is for uh, your power switches. So these three USB ones, they're all the same. It doesn't matter which one you plug into. Your motherboard, your yeah, your motherboard manual shows you where all these, they're all labeled all the same. There's a shot. So just make sure everything's, you know, in its right place. There's a rear shot. And there's the USB. They all go on one way, so you can't really screw it up. And there's a shot of them in place. Right, the USB. And then the white one goes on there. They only go on one way. Just take a look at the uh, connector. Take a look at the prongs. And uh, make sure you put them in the... <coughs> Pardon me. Um, this is the audio for the front of the case. So we're just using that one that said HDA. It's going to go on the furthest left connector of your motherboard. This one we're not using, so just leave it hanging. Next, you're going to want to pop your video card in. We're going to use the top PCI Express slot. Um, it was the blue one. And then you just uh, take the screw out of this. Uh, shield here, discard the shield, and use the same screw to put your video card into place. And your video card power goes right here. Um, I'll show you that in another um, picture. Just take note that we're just using the four pin connector and it's going up there. You can pop your um, rear USB plate thingy in, run a, the SATA to those six, one of those six SATA connectors and then the USB to the one of those three USB things I showed you. And there's the uh, there's the wire there. Um, next, your rear fan. That can go to any of these um, the connectors that, well, I mean, you can't really screw it up. They're called Molex connectors. They look the same. They go together just like Lego. So any of them, it doesn't matter which one you use, your fan will get power as long as you plug it into one of those Molex connectors. And then... I'm using the P9 connector to connect to my solid state hard drive. Um, there's another one of these, it's called P8, that would go to my, my HDD. And then we're going to pop off the front panel here. And these little suckers here are attached to the panel. They just slide right off and then bolt to your optical drive. And then you want to run this P12, which is the power, SATA power, and then another SATA data cable to one of those six SATA blue SATA connectors we talked about on the motherboard earlier. And then just slide your DVD drive into place. So there's your, there's my DVD drive hooked into one of the SATA connectors. And um, this is about what it's going to look like when you're done. There's that video. So these black and uh, black and yellow wires, you just want to use the one four pin. There's another one that comes down. That's just going to um, that's an extra one. You're not going to need it. And that's um, yeah, that's it. Everything has power. The motherboard has power. You're uh, you're ready to go. So um, that's it. The computer is built. Um, I'll show you a quick shot of mine with the wires all with the wires all cleaned up. Here's a shot with my aftermarket cooler, and I use some, uh, this is called wire loom. It wraps around the wires, and then I use some wire ties to zip tie it to the case to make uh, everything look clean. You can go ahead and take um, most of these cluster of wires, will kind of stuff underneath the uh, hard drive. and um, Just make sure they're not touching a fan or the RAM or the video card. Just try to get them out of the way the best you can. You can use garbage ties to tie them to the case. Whatever you can do. Um, and that's it. You have a built computer. How easy was that? It was too easy. And uh, that's what the Hackintosh is dummy for dummies is going to be all about. Making things, uh, making things easy. Um, this isn't exactly how I want this video to go down. I wish I had the uh, actual video to show you guys. Um, but I think this one is going to work out just fine and dandy.